I was not prepared to cry this much. <laughs> What's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. My dog is crying. So I actually started this reading vlog on Tuesday or Monday. I don't remember. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. I didn't vlog anything afterwards and today is Friday. <laughs> I'm going to insert a little clip of that because it's an unboxing that I absolutely adored. I'm going to insert that clip now so you can see it because I love this footage and this box that I was sent. I am so excited. <laughs> this wonderful company, Real Bookish, contacted me through my email a couple months ago and asked me if I wanted one of their boxes to review and I was like, yes and then they told me june's theme was little women and i was like give it to me i want the little women box this is honestly like beautiful the little women box oh my gosh it says it's their first ever like deluxe box and there's two books in here i'm pretty sure i'm so very excited there's even like the like instagrammers handle who did like the art i'm pretty sure and it is just beautiful and there's a quote on the set that said she is too fond of books and it has turned her brain that's really cute oh my gosh i'm so excited my mom loves little women also and so <laughs> she made me open the box for her like to open it and she had a peek and i'm so mad she already knows what's in here and i don't because <laughs> she wanted to peek in it so let's open this bad boy up i honestly don't know the price of this box but i am going to be linking their instagram down below and they have pictures of their boxes and everything um and you can get all the information right there i'm so excited for this okay okay we have this pretty pink tissue paper here okay we have the card and then on the back it says items featured and it has a list of all the items i want to be surprised though so it's a sticker it's a sticker of the movie <gasps> all the silhouettes of the characters oh my gosh i'm definitely like putting this on my laptop probably Oh my goodness, that is just so stinking cute. I love that. I'm definitely going to be using that. <gasps> okay, cool. We have, it's a little bent because it was smushed in a box, but we have two little coffee mugs, Meg and Joe and Amy and Beth. <gasps> it's just, and then there's, here's the tops to them. They're little coffee mug things. I don't personally drink coffee, but I definitely use it for any other drink. I don't really care. Oh my gosh. <gasps> They have a copy of Little Women in here that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, oh my word. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited y'all. Little Women is one of my favorite books of all time. Like it's competing to be my favorite book of all time next to Jane Eyre. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. So, Okay, I love this. Okay, so apparently these are like little slip covers. I think I've seen like Harry Potter ones before with like the beautiful Harry Potter illustrations on there. And there's two of these, I think. So there's this one. Obviously you just saw that. And then there is this one that is beautiful as well. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. And then there's the actual like paperback version i am trying to collect literally every single version that i find i love these i love these i think i love this one more but like this one is absolutely gorgeous as well and this one was made by bookishly and their information is on the card i believe i'm trying i'm gonna try and link every illustrator down below of who is a part of this box i'm so very excited for these i love these okay this is a letter from the company first and foremost thank you for your support we are blown away by the interest in june 2020 little women box this is our first deluxe box that contains two novels rather than one little woman is an incredible book that the film adaptation wonderfully brought to life one of the books featured in this box is a beautiful edition of little women created by bookishly uk as for the second book joe and laurie <gasps> joe and laurie is in here oh my gosh i see it oh my gosh joe and laurie's in here like i'm so excited for that book it explores the question of what would have happened had joe ended up with laurie we think it's always interesting to explore the possibilities of what ifs especially in such an iconic novel oh my goodness there are candles in here oh my gosh i smell stuff <gasps> 
I haven't gotten candles in so long. I used to be a huge candle buyer, but um, I've been trying to save up my money. So this is actually amazing. This one is Joe. It's made by Novelly Yours. So the scent is spiced sandalwood, cedar, and thunderstorms. Ooh. Ooh, that smells really good. Do you want to smell? A smell? Good boy. <laughs> my doggy wanted to smell. You want to smell him with me? Here, come here. Ollie's gonna test him out with me. Let's see. Oh, he's already interested. You like this one? You like Joe? <gasps> you like to smell Joe? What about this one? Let's see what this one is. What's this one? This one's called Meg, and it is wildflowers and cotton, cotton seed and mint. Here, you wanna smell this one? You smell that one? Oh, do you like it? Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, let's see what this one is. <gasps> What's this one? You wanna see what this one is? <gasps> this one is, <gasps> it's Beth! We love Beth! Okay, this one is clean something. <laughs> Strawberry jam is one of them. <laughs> I can't read this cursive, y'all. Oh, you want to smell it? You want to smell it? Ooh, I like that one. Okay, last one, Ollie. You want to... <gasps> What's this? <gasps> you want to do this last one? Nope, he doesn't want anything to do with me now. <laughs> you want to smell it? This one's Amy, of course. Oh my gosh, this one is champagne, lavender, something. Y'all, I'm a blind bat. Oh my gosh, that smells so amazing. Next thing. This one is... I believe maybe like a little notebook it says i am not afraid of storms for i am learning how to sail my ship lisa may alcott which i assume is a quote from the book i don't remember all the quotes from little women yeah it's little just blank little journal that's very 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 pretty i'm definitely going to be using this i feel like this would be a great like little bullet journal thing <laughs> so excited okay what is in this what is this Love is brewing, Joe and Lori. Chamomile tea, oh, it's supposed to be on this, obviously, it's supposed to be on this. That is so cool. I don't drink tea, I've never really tried tea all that much, so. Oh wow, that's really strong. <laughs> it says Joe and Lori tea, tea bags were invented in 1908 so the characters of little women would have enjoyed a loose leaf tea such as this <gasps> that's pretty cool that's so cool that y'all thought of that next we have the book joe and Lori. y'all this book is like just gorgeous where do i open it <laughs> look at that oh my gosh so basically it's little women but if Lori and joe got together and look at this spine i was honestly, when I first watched Little Women, because I grew up with the movie, I was honestly so disappointed that they didn't get together. But I can definitely see why they didn't end up together, and I am so excited to read this. It's kind of like the fan fiction I've always wanted, probably. <laughs> then we have this. Thank you for supporting ball small businesses real bookish. Oh, it's like a little, it's like an art thing of all of the movie, new movie characters. Oh, it even has all their names. There's Joe, Marmy, Lori, Amy, Beth, and Meg. Oh my word, that is beautiful. There's something else in here too. What is this? It's big. Support women filmmakers. Oh, okay. So this is like a print of a bunch of illustrations of women filmmakers that is so cool so like there's greta gerwig who is the director of little women that is so cool i absolutely love that i'm definitely going to look up all the ladies on here that i don't know and look at their films oh my goodness y'all that was that was awesome that was awesome again again like please go check out real bookish i'm linking all their information down below i absolutely adored this and I'm definitely wanting another box from them. Please go check them out. I loved like everything in here. So yes, I absolutely adored that subscription box. Thank y'all so, so much at Real Bookish for sending that to me. I loved it a lot. And please go check out Real Bookish if you haven't yet because I loved everything in that box, like everything. I have decided that I probably 
can't do full week reading vlogs anymore because I'm now like working weekdays. Uh, I'm a nanny, so I've been working weekdays. I got today off. That's why I'm not at work today. I've decided that weekly vlogs probably aren't for me currently anymore because when I get off of work, all I want to do is lay in bed because I'm exhausted. I think I'm going to start doing weekly vlogs. Plus that footage is pretty long in a weekend. And that's where I get most of my footage from is in a weekend. So I'm going to try weekend vlogging this time. So I'm going to be talking about what I'm currently reading and what I plan plan to be reading this weekend. So I'm currently 60% of the way through Dangerous by Nora Ash. This was in my May ebook haul, I'm pretty sure. I got this for free. I don't know if it's still currently free. It might be. This is a like mafia arranged marriage romance. I'm enjoying it so far. I was kind of skeptical at the beginning. Most mafia books are pretty dark or darker than regular romance books because it deals with dark subject matter like the mafia. So if you're into mafia romances, you might like this one. I'm really, I'm enjoying it so far, 60% of the way, 60 of the way through because it's a hate to love thing. Um, I haven't read a hate to love in a very long time. So gonna finish that one today, hopefully. And then I plan to be reading this with Jen and Ashley for our book club. Our live show is on July 11th for Beach Read by Emily Henry. It's gonna be on my channel 7 p.m. Central Time, July 11th. So get ready for this live show, y'all. I'm so excited. This is a romance between two writers. We both have writer's block. She is a romance writer and I believe he's a literary fiction writer and they like swap genres to help each other break their writer's block, I think so. I think Jen just started it and she said she's really enjoying it. So I'm very, very, very excited. So I'm going to go and finish Dangerous and I will chat with y'all when I have more of an update. <laughs> everyone it is a couple of hours later i finished dangerous by nora ash and i literally did not give it a rating i put in my goodreads um review that i didn't know what to rate it i feel like there are people who will love this book and people who will absolutely hate this book and i don't know where i fall it has like tropes i don't really like but then like i don't i don't know i just I didn't rate it i don't feel like you need to rate a book i've started to realize it's okay to not rate a book it's okay we're good you don't need to. I say if the book interests you, give it a shot. It may not be for you though. It has a bunch of tropes people don't like in romance, but then there are people who do love those tropes. So I'm on page, oops, like 82, 82 of Beach Read by Emily Henry. I am really enjoying this. So I've already started tabbing. Um, I've only had one yellow tab, which is a quote that I love. And then the red ones are, funny lines <laughs> i'm really enjoying it the uh book club scene was pretty funny to me so if you read that scene that one was pretty funny at the beginning so yes i'm very much looking forward to reading some more of this before i go to bed tonight and then i forgot to tell y'all i got this in the mail yesterday finally Take a hint, Danny Brown. I am so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. I downloaded an alien romance book that I want to read. I don't remember the title of it, but I really want to read that one too now. I just found it on KU. So we'll see if I get to that one. Okay, later in the night, or technically the next day, because it's like 12.30 in the morning, but I'm on page 147, I think. Almost halfway through. It's been a while since I've read a book where I've been so immersed in the story that I haven't even wanted to pick up my phone. You know, where you read a book and you end up like checking your phone like after every chapter and you're like kind of bored, but then you get back to reading it. I don't know, every time I pick this book up, I don't want to pick up my phone. And the last book that made me feel like that was Bone Crier's Moon. I read that whole thing. 400 plus page book in one day because I needed to read it so badly. So I've been able to read it in one day because I've had other things to do, but I haven't felt like bored with this book at all. And like, I've been fully invested in the story, fully invested in these characters. We're at a point where they've stopped hating each other. Love to see when that happens. Anyways, I'm going to probably head to bed or just scroll my phone for like the next hour and go to sleep. So I'll chat with y'all tomorrow. So I haven't done a shout out in a reading vlog in a while, so we're gonna do that. Um, this one is going to be this one that 
that up. Who's this one? It's a long one. Oh my goodness, it is Jess from Peace Love Books. I mean like if you're reading romance you should already be subscribed to Jess. Jess is like kind of like the romance queen here on booktube I like to say. I love getting recommendations from her. I love chatting with her, talking with her. She's super duper sweet, reads so much romance. I love like almost all the books that she recommends. She has so many different recommendation videos for like different tropes and niches in the romance genre. If you're into romance, if you love romance, please Please go follow Jess, go subscribe to Jess. I love her oh so very much, so does the booktube community, so please go check her out. Hello, happy Saturday, excuse my, look at this. <laughs> I'm on page 215 of Beach Read and I fully intend on finishing this today, I believe there's only 300, like 50 something pages in here. So I'm close to almost 100 pages left. Like it's so funny because people are saying, oh, it looks cute on the cover, but like it's actually pretty serious. And like, I understand that it's serious and there are very serious topics addressed dealing with family and a bunch of other stuff. Sorry, I had to fix the hair. I keep staring at it. Of course there are serious topics in here and like, oh, are they deep. Oh my word, are they deep. But there's also really funny moments that I'm also appreciating. What is this? <laughs> We're gonna just go with it. It's done. We're good. Something that I have not addressed yet. I don't think anyone's ever noticed it in my videos, but my shelves are looking more barren as like the more videos that I post. <laughs> it's because we plan on moving. I've packed up four boxes and I've only managed to pack up that one and that one the ones that are double stacked behind them and then some down there. And then there's only four boxes. So I'm gonna need like a hundred. <laughs> I have over 300 books. So thing is though, we haven't sold our house. We haven't gotten the house that we want. I feel like it's like bad luck like to start packing all your stuff before you know that you're moving. But we're gonna move. But like we haven't sold our house and we haven't gotten this other house. So like, I don't know what's happening. But we thought about me packing up all of my stuff in my room and maybe just bringing it one day to my apartment because my parents want to move like right next to my college town so i'm gonna be able to possibly live at home possibly which is a plus because rent ain't cheap and i'm cool with living at home <laughs> that's what i'm doing today i also started an audiobook last night i did a i'm doing a re-listen to beautiful bastard by christina lauren i've only read books one and two in that series and i just got two novellas from half price books in a book haul y'all will see hopefully soon i really want to finish the series i really want to read all of christina lauren's backlist i'm rereading beautiful bastard and whoa that book is very steamy i forgot how like steamy it is it's probably the steamiest book i've ever read this is like a hate to love romance set in the workplace she's kind of like the boss's assistant but not really like i don't really know how to describe her i don't really know even know what like company it is she like works for him they've always disliked each other they both think the other person is mean and rude and abrasive and just horrible and then one day like 10 pages into the book they hook up <laughs> all that pent-up hatred towards one another gets redirected in a different way <laughs> so i am 25 percent of the way through that audiobook i planned on starting some alien romance book i remember telling you all that i realized i looked at the summary again and it is a spin-off series to the author's other alien romance book so i have to go download whatever book that is so may not be reading it in this video so why am i talking about it i don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna go pack up some books which is very very sad <laughs> very sad I was not prepared to cry this much. This book is wrecking me. Oh my word. I'm on page 330. There's like 28 pages left. I didn't know that there was like a 
father-daughter relationship that's very heavily focused in this book and oh my word i need to finish this because uh i don't know what to do with my life until i finish this <laughs> I finished it. I did it. Five stars from me. <laughs> All of the stuff about writing and writing books and Gus and January and then January and her dad and like her dad's whole relationship. I honestly love this book very, very, very much. This is gonna be one of my favorite books of all time now. Wow. I'm kind of speechless at the moment and kind of hungry because I read this book through dinner. So I have to go eat dinner. I loved this. I highly recommend it. I want my own Gus. <laughs> I loved Gus in here. I'm gonna go eat dinner, contemplate my life because my life is kind of over after reading that book. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I've again been getting really into baking recently and I feel like a bunch of y'all really liked me showing y'all how to make some cookies a couple of weeks ago so I thought I'd teach y'all how to make cake batter cookies. This is actually my first time ever making it and of course these are gluten free. If you didn't know, I have an autoimmune disorder called celiac disease to where I'm not able to digest gluten into my body. It basically kills everything in my lower half of my body if I eat it. So uh, these are definitely gluten-free or I will not be able to eat them. And I got this recipe off of What the Fork blog. I'm going to be linking the recipe down below that I used. One fourth cup butter that is melted. I'm going to melt it soon. One half cup granulated sugar, one egg, one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths teaspoon vanilla extract, one and one fourth cup of all purpose gluten-free flour blend. In mine, it had xanthan gum in it and the recipe does call for also to have one half teaspoon of xanthan gum but since my gluten-free flour that i had already had xanthan gum in it i didn't add the xanthan gum extra to it um because it already was in my flour blend and plus we did not have any <laughs> xanthan gum flour in my kitchen so it worked out <laughs> and then one half cup white chocolate chips and two tablespoons of sprinkles you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees you're going to mix together the one fourth cup of melted butter and the one half cup of granulated sugar and then you're going to put that on a medium speed in your mixing bowl once that's mixed you add the egg until that is all combined and then you're gonna add the one half teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of baking soda. You and then you're gonna mix that until it's combined. And then you're going to add your three fourths teaspoon of vanilla extract and the one and one fourths cup of all purpose gluten free flour. And you're gonna mix that again. Then you're gonna add the one half cup of chocolate chips, then the two tablespoon of sprinkles, and then mix those also. And then I was told to use a one and one half tablespoon of cookie mix, roll that up, and then place it on the parchment paper. I put six on one tray each. You bake that for around 10 minutes. And uh, there you go. Those are my gluten-free uh, cake batter cookies. They actually turned out pretty, pretty good. I really recommend. Hope you enjoyed this cooking segment. Please let me know if y'all like these or don't like these. <laughs> morning everyone i look rough and so does my room <laughs> you say hi ali anyway so i have this whole mess behind me to um clean and organize and i want to downsize some stuff and what is on my face what is that <laughs> i found a leaf on my eyebrow great i'm going to be listening to beautiful bastard while i clean my room i'm around 45 percent of the way through i believe that's what it said on libby i believe i gave it four stars last time and i think it's going to be the same again i'm having a lot of fun reading this book i love hate to love <laughs> and i haven't read a lot of workplace romances so i need to probably read more into more workplace romances and learn more about those because i need to read more i like them the cookies last night turned out so good they're so yummy i ran out of white chocolate chips though so they didn't have enough of those in the cookies so they probably would taste better with more white chocolate chips but you gotta work with what you got enough of me rambling i'm gonna get to cleaning <laughs>
Y'all, it's actually the next day. It's Monday. And I didn't close out the reading vlog, of course, yesterday. So, here we are. So, I'm just gonna close this all up and tell y'all about the four books that I read this weekend. So, first, I read Dangerous by Nora Ash. I decided not to rate this book. Be kind of like a soft mafia. This woman is a therapist and she ends up having to be in an arranged marriage with her patient client because he's in the mafia world and she used to be in the mafia world and her dad comes and finds her and makes her marry this dude without her wanting to. Next I obviously read Be Treated by Emily Henry. I gave this five out of five stars. A beautiful romance book. Don't expect this to be a rom-com y'all. I think you'll be surely disappointed because there are very 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 deep topics and subject matter discussed in this book but there are amazing like one-liners and funny scenes like the red ones are the funny ones and there's plenty of red ones so i really loved this one of my favorite books of the year for sure yes five stars and be sure to join us on our live show on july 11th on my channel to discuss this book and then i ended up finishing my audiobook for beautiful bastard by christina lauren i need to fix these tabs way back when i thought that paper tabs were a good thing but they just keep bending like this. Workplace Romance, Hate to Love, four stars from me. I actually really like this series. Um, I'm going to reread the next book soon. I just actually ordered the novella that's in between this book and book number two, and that should actually be coming today. So I'm going to be reading that today. Um, but yeah, I actually really enjoyed the series, even though it is really, really, really steamy. And then I ended up reading an alien romance book off of Kindle Unlimited. This one is called The Commander's Captive by Miranda Bridges, the first book in the House of Kamar series. I gave it like 2.5 out of 5 stars. Basically, these women get abducted by these aliens who look like elves because they want them for their breeding program because their species is dying out. And so it's about our main character, woman, her and her best friend get taken out of their dorm room. They end up getting put on the spaceship and out of the Milky Way, like into space. Her mate apparently is like the commander of the ship. It just was not memorable. Some things I didn't like about it, insta love. I'm normally fine when it comes to like mate books, faded mate books, but like the faded mate part of the book wasn't really explained all that well or explained all that much. So not my cup of tea. Might be yours though, if you wanna try it out. I really wanted to read this book because as I said at the beginning of the video, the uh, Alien Romance book that I did want to read, this series is before that one. So I wanted to read this series to read that one, but I honestly don't think that this series is for me or this author is for me necessarily, so I don't see myself reading the rest of the series. But anyways, there you have it. Those are the four books that I read this weekend. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, and I would love to know. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye!